Hello, good evening. Hello, good morning. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Um, so, so, teacher. <laughs> Why? What happened? Um, um, I am very tired, <laughs> maybe. <clears throat> yes, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> and today's Tuesday, man. <clears throat> Me too, I'm very tired. Yes. Claudia, how was your first day today? <sighs> Excited. <laughs> And with a lot of feelings and believing that the first goals, I didn't understand anything, but around for the cold six or seven, I was understanding. And at the end, I got the information with the last goal. At the end, you are, a, you are an expert. Yes, <laughs> not an expert, but a beginner. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, wait, my camera. I always cover my camera. Oh. <laughs> Do you know that even Mark Zuckerberg covers his camera? Yes. There's a picture of him that he's, he's working on, on his computer and he has tape on his camera. Remember? I <clears throat> said, you know, I do it. <laughs> <laughs> People can see you on the camera all the time. Hello, Lisa, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your how was your day today? Um my day was very stressful. Because in my job, I realize very uh, a lot of activities mm -hmm. as um, provide ATM and the cash, the cash, uh, the cash, um, como digo, el conteo, el conteo. The efectivo. Conteo de efectivo o de, de dinero. Mm -hmm. The cash. <laughs> oh, complete the sentence. The conteo efectivo que. The cash counting is very tedious. Oh, okay. Counting the cash. Yes. Counting the cash is very tedious because I select the the best the best catch okay okay so class uh welcome remember yesterday we did past modals correct we learned a little bit about what can yes. and can uh, and can and could you know uh must and have to that was interesting remember must and have to what is the difference Must have to. Must it, is it obligation. the same? Mm -hmm. Must is obligation. And have to? Have to is the. It's an obligation too. <laughs> and this is. Uh... Yeah, the, the only difference is that remember must, it, it has a um, authority. Legal obligation or authority? Yes. For example, if you go to church, every church has their rules, regulars, right? You know, and um, I put it as a must, you know, like, hey, you must come in white. You must be married in the church because it's a, legal obligation in the church. 
If you are a member of that church, yes, you follow the rules. Okay, so okay. Let, let's see. Let me share my screen with you. Do you see my screen? Yes. So let's do number one. Yes, it says, I shouldn't have invited them. So what happens? Did this person invite them or didn't? Invite them. One more time. Number one, I shouldn't have invited them. Did this person invite the people or didn't invite them? He invited. He invited them, correct. After he regrets, yes, but like, oh man, he shouldn't have. Los saboreños tenemos eso, ¿verdad? De que, hey, me saltaron, ¿dónde? En el centro. Es que no debería de haber ido al centro. Hey, me quitaron el reloj, ¿dónde? Está lugar, es que no debería de haber andado el reloj. Mm -hmm. Dude, y a veces no es culpa de nosotros. Hey, me chocaron de atrás. Es que no debería de haber andado a esas horas en la calle. Man. ¿Qué esperar? You know, like... <laughs> we have that thing. No deberías de I shouldn't have. Number two, that was a secret. You weren't supposed to tell anyone. So what does that mean? You didn't tell anyone or you told someone? Okay, we're not going to participate today. Let me do this for you. We didn't have to study the test. So that means we were prepared for the test. I know Jane didn't like my cooking, but she didn't need to be so rude about it. Jane was rude to me, okay? So that's it. I shouldn't have invited them in, so that means I did invite them. Okay, let's go to next. If you're not going to talk, I'm not going to obligate you. Okay, next, in this section, participants will learn and practice using the verbs that go with problems. Okay, these are verbs that go with problems. What is that? Let's see. I'll give you a list of verbs that we may use when talking about problems. Try to find the synonyms for Can you hear? Yes. 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 Problems. yes. yes. These verbs are often used to talk about problems. Aggravate a problem. Avoid a problem. Cause a problem. Deal with a problem. Identify a problem. Ignore a problem. Run into a problem. Solve a problem. Look at the following picture. Type two sentences using any of the verbs previously given. Us a problem. Deal with. Okay, so here we see uh, aggravate. When you ag aggravate a problem, what does that mean? You make it worse. Yes, you're making the problem bigger. Yes. What about yes. when, when you avoid a problem? <laughs> You ignore something? Yes, you are ignoring something because you want to avoid the problem. It's like procrastinate. It's like what? You know how to do a lot of tasks, but you procrastinate. You don't want to do it. You want to just avoid it or just ignore it. It's true, yes. 
every time I work, they give me an option. Do you want to go in at eight in the morning or six? And I always say, no, I prefer at six in the morning. So that way I avoid driving in traffic. And people tell me, you're crazy at six in the morning. Yes. No, I, I go in at eight. Yes, but that's two hours of traffic. So it's the same thing. Okay, cost a problem. We understand that, correct? Yes, yes. Yeah. There's there's someone, someone or something always causes a problem. The USA, for, for example. <laughs> yes. They always cause the a problem. Europe, always <laughs> causing problems in all the countries all over the world. Yes, but then they the are innocent. Sun. We are the bad ones. Yes, they are always causing wars, causing this, causing that. Okay. Disease, earthquake. I mean, um, what most people believe is that God caused it because it's on prophecy is actually United States working in the background. Yes. <laughs> I think it's very ridiculous that United States in the embassy, they said to the, to the, um, citizens please don't travel to el salvador in this moment it's very dangerous i said oh please it's not dangerous in this moment okay next deal with do you know what is deal with yeah when yes, you... yes okay what is deal you with give me an example handle, the problem. handle something Okay, handle or face the problem. Yes. Face face the problem. Yes. For example, people that accidentally get pregnant. Mm -hmm. That's a good example. You know, you gotta hey, you gotta deal with it. Hey, like you know, I if you're a man, oh she's pregnant, son, you gotta deal with it. Now you have to be responsible with your son. Or vice versa. Oh, you got pregnant, daughter. Okay, deal with it. I'm not going to help you. You have to deal with it. It's oh. it's like it's like, and you have to um, live with your consequences. Yes, and you know, I mean, it's not necessarily like a very big problem, too. It can be something small. Let me give you an example. Imagine I invite you to my house. I invite 10 people to my house. Yes. And the party is over. So everybody's going home, but there's a lot of garbage in my house. And somebody offers, hey, let me help you. I said, oh, no, don't worry. I'll deal with it. Yes. I mean, that means I will clean and don't, yeah, you know, don't worry about it. So deal with is not like a, um, a tragedy. It can be something big or something small. Yes, identify. This you is really important to identify a problem because anytime, for example, when you have a, a health problem and it's really necessary to identify it before when it becomes really serious. That's true, identify the problem, yes. When something is wrong in your business and and you say, wait a minute, what is the problem? I have I have customers and I don't have money. Why? You have to identify what the problem is. Now, uh, next, ignore a problem. What is the difference between avoid and ignore? When you avoid a problem, it's because you don't want to be in touch with the problem. So you do whatever it takes to to not to be involved in a problem. But when you ignore a problem, it means that you are already in the problem and you pretend there's no problem at all. Exactly. Yes. 
When you avoid a problem is that you don't want to be part or create that problem. So you do something. When you ignore the problem is when you decide not to see it, but it exists. Run into. It's like it you want to, to, to get deal with a problem. Run into? No. No. Hey, listen to this. Run into, es que miren, run into es como un poco, es un verbo fracial que es verbo y preposición. Nunca, cuando ustedes dicen, hey, ayer fue súper adina con quien me topé. ¿Qué quiero, qué quiero entender con quien me topé? Como que fue sin querer. Me encontré con alguien, right? Mm -hmm. That is run into. Come across. You came across with something or? Unexpectedly, like unexpectedly. One time I was in the airport and I ran into the undertaker. Do you know the undertaker? Un luchador. WWF? Yes. Fighter? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I mean, I was taking literally undertaken and terradora. <laughs> uh, no, undertaker, yes. It was a it was a very bad bad memory. Because I was in the airport and I see a hey, that man looks familiar. And you know, and I saw the big man with the long red hair and the tattoos. I mean, that was the undertaker. I was very little and I told, hey mom, mom, look, that's the undertaker. <laughs> you know, mothers. So I go to the undertaker and I was scared, you know, like, excuse me, hi. And he turned around and are you the undertaker? He said, yeah, little man, <laughs> how are you? And then he gave me his autograph. And where are you going? I'm all oh, El Salvador. Oh, going to catch some sun, maybe. But fue bien de disappointing because I was expecting him to be like, or like I was expecting him to punch me or something. But he was a very, very nice person. Have you ever run into somebody famous by accident? Not really. No. Nidia Dilla. <laughs> huh? Nidia Dilla. Okay. You know Nidia. who she is? Yes. <laughs> what happened to her? Is she is she, so funny get out with the mirror or something? I don't know. I don't know how idea what happened to her. She was I was I was crossing the street. She was just there and I saw her. I just run away because I don't like her. <laughs> yeah, she's a very ugly woman and person <laughs> she's not a good human she <laughs> king kong okay um next we have solve solve a problem <laughs> there is a saying in english that people say in a problem you are either part of the solution or part of the problem. That's typical of the companies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So either be part of the solution or part of the problem. Who are you? You know that? All right. So let's see. I have a problem with that. And I am part of the problem right now. Okay, let's see. Read the following sentence. Notice the word or phrases which are in brackets. Replace them using the following verbs. Aggravate, avoid, cause, deal with, identify, nor run into, and solve. Just type in, no need to retype the entire uh, sentence again. Do not worry about capital letters or period. My friend never does anything about his problem. 
in north. So in my north. In north. From in north. His problem. Did you put ignore or ignores? Ignores. Maria, with S, yes. Maria can look at a broken bicycle and find the problem right away. Identify. Okay. <clears throat> but you know, here, solve could be good too. It's optional. Because look, Maria can look at a broken bicycle and identify the problem right away, but she says she's looking at a broken bicycle. So broken is the problem. So it's so. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what the platform has put, but for me, really, really for me. Oh, no. Okay, what happened? Identify. identify. Can you hear me, class? Yes, yes, teacher, yes. Yes, yes. yes. So your platform is. Yes. yes. Can you Normal. see my screen? Yes, uh, yeah. yes, yes, yes. What was that? How come it says my. This is strange. Hold on. Okay. Did you see that that my my has stopped? Yes. Yeah. yeah, we did. Okay. So, next, my sister is never afraid to take care of a difficult problem. So she's what? Being weak. Being weak. You said to deal with. Deal with. Yes. <clears throat> Jill Dong always makes his problem worse. Aggravates, right? Yes. <clears throat> Ruby always follows the recipe closely to prevent problems when she cooks. A voice. A voice. Always follows the recipe to prevent, okay, avoid. Avoid. Ming always what? Ming always unexpectedly encounters problems when he tries to fix things. So listen, people, you run into you run into people and you run into situations. Okay, number seven, Carla is a, is great at completely fixing any kind of problems at work. She's great at? Solving. Solving. Yeah, we'll put solving. Al is the kind of student who always makes problems for teachers. Cause. Cause. Causes. Hmm. What? Oh, 
No, this is not correct. Look, Jill Dong always makes his problems worse. So Jill Dong is a third person, so Jill Dong always aggravates. So this is correct with an S. I'm sorry, but this is not correct. This is correct. Aggra ag aggravates. También esta. Ruby always follows the recipe closely to avoid yes, because it's problems good. when she cooks. Uh huh. So, yeah, so yeah. avoids is not. I'm trying to use the platform. Ming always. Oh, yeah. Like you see, it runs into. Oops. Ming always runs into problems when he fix when he tries to fix things. Nope. For me, those are correct. Did you get it's is this what you were talking about, Bert? Yeah, that's what I was talking about because I put in different ways those and never I mean never realized that. It was aggravate. It was in the past tense. Yeah, and you know because it doesn't. It, it doesn't. Tense. And the example is not very good because aggravates is imperar. Y aquí dijo worse. So yeah, the example is not good. Ruby yeah, always. Como empeorar, empeorar. <laughs> uh huh. Siempre empeora sus problemas a peor. Ah, don't worry about it. But this is, esta definitivamente is correct. This one, uh, yo creo que es presente simple. Jill always listens. Jill always cooks. Jill always dances. You know? Because it's, we are using always. Aggravate. Aggravate. No. Mm -hmm. I don't like that because I think it's correct. Okay, now verbs that go with problems. Let's see the video. With a problem. Identify oh, a problem. Ignore a problem. Run into a problem. Solve. Degrees of centered certainty, obligation, advice, and opinion. Let's see what this is. Models with multiple uses. Hello, let me remind you the models may express degrees of certainty, obligation, suggestion, advice, or opinion. I suggest for you to stay and learn a little bit more. Model auxiliaries express many different meanings or moods. Models can express degrees of certainty. What's that noise? It must be the phone, almost 100% sure. It might be the phone, less than 50% sure. It could be the phone, less than 50% sure. Models can also express obligation, advice, or opinions. You must be on time for the interview. Obligation, it's very cold, you should wear a hat. Advice. Everyone should visit Paris once in their life. Opinion. Use models to write reality. Interview. Obligation. It's very cold. You should wear a hat. Advice. Why is this advice? A mí me suena más ese opinion. And you should visit Paris once in their lifetime. That sounds like an opinion, like an advice. Advice or recommendation. Yeah, recommendation. Everyone should visit Paris once in their life. Opinion. Use models to write reactions to these situations. You and your friend plan to meet, but your friend never arrived. Number two, you loaned a classmate a lot of money last week, but she still hasn't paid you. Hello, let me remind you. Okay, let's practice this now. You guys are going to talk to each other. Claudia. Yes. Um, give me one second, Claudia. Gerardo, what do you do? 
Where do you I work? I, uh, in Anda. You work in Anda, right? Oh, yeah, in Santa Ana. Right. Yes. Has, uh, Bert, you are uh, IT, correct? Uh, yeah, IT. That's right. <clears throat> okay, uh, Claudia, can you ask his uh, Albert for an advice about your computer? Tell him your problem. Okay. Or invent. If you don't have a problem, just invent. Remember, something simple. Something something like... My, my, something like that. Yeah, like, why, why does my computer get very hot? You know, okay. something. Albert, I have a question for you today. I don't know, but... Um... My computer uh, is getting hot every day when I turn on, and I don't know what mm -hmm. happened with the computer. Can you help me with that, please? Well, first of all, we have, I have to know if you have an antivirus, uh, because you should install an antivirus in your computer, and you ha must uh, pay attention to the internet or the site you visit you must be careful with that the phishing and all the stuff because you could have viruses that's, that's what the computer, the computer gets should hot? be working i inventing i don't know about repairing hardware actually <laughs> oh but come on bird that's something basic when your computer is hot it's like you should put a fan <laughs> Or also yeah, actually, yes. because is, uh, no sé cómo decirlo, pero es, tiene muchas cosas. Está sobre archivada, algo así. Tiene muchos documentos. Liberación de espacio. Yeah, why well, you, you should use the cloud storage. Now, they, that's what I use. I use cloud storage. So my computer has enough space in the disk. So, and he, what the teacher says is right me you use a fan to cool it you do you know that that's why call centers are very cold yes it's not it's not for the employees it's for the computers for the computers <laughs> uh-huh <clears throat> okay yeah so that's good so if um, um you should you should use the cloud like bert says you should um you also you should um you should use an external hard drive disk. Or you should put all the, inf you shouldn't have all the information in your desktop. Got it. You should have all the information in your hard drive. Okay, good. Uh, Bert, do you know the difference between hard drive and software? Yeah, at least I don't know. I can't make the difference between. <laughs> I know you know the difference, but can you explain it to me? Okay, I can explain that to you. I mean, software is what I deal every day is what you can, uh, you can, I mean, in the simple ways you can touch, but you can use it at the computer. But the hardware is what you can see, you can touch. Exactly. Your mouse, your keyboard, yes. uh, any other device you can deal with the printer printer and but the software is whatever you use like windows is a software yes but you cannot touch it you can use it so hardware is what you see and touch yeah that's right software is the internal part the memory of the computer what makes the computer work yeah that's okay, right. good all right thank you thank you claudia thank you bert bert can you choose somebody and Give a problem to somebody. Mm, Any problem. No problem. If you want, you can invent. Please don't tell me, but I don't have a problem. Just invent one. Okay. I want to talk to Gerardo Represa because the name is actually something. <laughs> can I ask you, Gerardo, something Wait. about problem? How to deal with the water? How, I want to know how to maintain. Hey, you, I'm sorry. That's I'm ironic. Drinkable. That's ironic. You drink. <laughs> You work in in Anda and you have Presa in your name. <laughs> That's not the first time I hear that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's ironic. Okay, yeah, so I want to deal with the water. I mean, how to how can I deal with the I mean to first to have 
drinkable water and how to convert or to to the rainy water to be drinkable what should i do to i mean you can wrap it up you can invent something so you yeah, can say okay you, or you can say like more simple like like gerardo can i drink water from anda saben como se está agua de chorro no no not really okay. okay you say tap water tap tap t-a-p not top tap 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 water uh, tap water mm -hmm. so i think bert in 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 a short sentence your question is hey can i drink tap water can i drink tap water okay that's a good question and I'm very confident that we we can drink um, tap water because Anda every day is making um, um, a study in water the quality the quality of the water so it can come in, in our in every home uh, make water drinkable. Hey, good. It's not very recommendable, but it's okay to drink, right? It's okay to drink. And mm -hmm. if you see some something initial, stop stop drinking and you may report it to one that they have a call center that, that is 915. And the call is it's 24-7. Okay, but I, I, I don't know how Anda is now, but I remember like five years ago in my in my in my block there was a water leak. So I can't fool that one. water leak in the middle of the street, but heavy. You know, one day passed, two day passed. I said this is strange. So and I speak with it neighbors. Ha it happens, it happens every day. No, no, I know, but I you know. So I imagine some neighbor called, you know, Anda. So I start speaking with neighbors and I said, excuse me, have you called Anda? See, everybody called Anda like every day. And like, but this is five years ago. I don't know if it was with a different, it was a different government, but I promise you they spent like one month and and the, the water was leaking 24 hours. Wow, you know, that was sad. And it was a very, very small, and then it got a little big. But now I hear that the service is better. We, uh, yes, it's better. Not very fast, but compared with another government, it's better. It's better. Okay, cool. Good to hear yes. that. All right, good. I hear that in Costa Rica, the water is totally drinkable, the tap water. That in Costa Rica, people don't buy our cristal or anything. It's, it's tap water. That's what people say. Okay, Gerardo, can you ask somebody for advice? Somebody except, except Bert and Claudia. Okay, okay. And I ask a question to, to Ronald. To who? And okay. To Ronald. Hey. Yes. Oh, but first, uh, Ronald is working or studying? Yes, I work at Concentrix. It's a call center. Yes, it's a call center. It's located in Salvador del Mundo. Are you there okay, in this Ronald. moment? No, I'm on, <laughs> yeah. uh, on my roof. Okay. Roof? On your route. No, I mean my roof. Roof. Oh, in the roof. Yeah, uh -huh. that's why I, I answer again. What the hell are you doing in your roof? <laughs> it's the only place. It's the only quiet place in my house by this moment. <laughs> so that's why I'm here. <laughs> okay, cool. Be careful. All right, go ahead. Okay, Ronald. So uh, if I'm interested in working in a call center, can you give me an advice for my first day? Uh, that's that's interesting because 
I started working when I was 18 and I didn't have any idea of how dealing with customers, but I understand it's difficult when you don't know how, what to do or when to do it. So my advice for you would be to study the product, study the common scenarios, and so you can know what to do and when to do it. And the listening used to be a problem to me, but then Excuse I Excuse me, I'll to... be back in one second. Excuse me, go ahead, please continue. Okay. Then I started to like just following the script. If you can uh, keep following the script, you will not have any problem because, uh, for example, I used to be in a billing account. I used to charge uh, old people for their appliances. And so I just needed to charge them the monthly fee. Like, for example, they could purchase any fridge or, or uh, let me see any fridge or any computer and they have to pay monthly for that appliance. Uh, but from time to time, they come up with certain problems like the TV is not working, the TV was, uh, was uh, getting hot, but they were using a different uh, language or different words I didn't, need, I didn't know by that moment. So I just had to keep asking and following the script so I could uh, find any solution. That's what I, that, that would be my advice, just following the script. And Gerardo, you want to work in a call center? No, I just oh, okay. was <laughs> asking something. <laughs> but I need some context to have, to make oh, okay. take, uh, some question to Ronald. But you know what, um, that, that was a good explanation, Ronald. Also, one thing I would recommend to you is that you should steal. You should steal, Rovar everything from everybody oh, sorry, not physically usually in call centers when you are in training you do something as shadow you sit next to somebody you sit next to somebody to listen and sometimes you shadow with 10 15 people like one per a different person every day there you have to steal like say hey i like how i like what he said the intro, A, I don't like what he said. Que feo se lo yo lo que dijo. Que bueno soy. You know, so then you take all the ideas, you take all the ideas and boom, make one. Yeah, so I remember I had a boss. He told me, you want to be the best agent? Yes, you have to steal every trick from everybody. So that's good for you too, Claudia. In this case, um, yes, it's kind of difficult because today was my first day, as I mentioned. Mm -hmm. And yes, with the accent, we have to deal with the different accents. And I think uh, having a good listening is a great advantage. Um. Bert, maybe you can help me. What is Google tiene un, un translator? Google what? What what is the what link for the Google translator? The link. Yeah, said. there's I forgot, but you know what, Claudia, ask. There is a Google has something that whoever's calling you, uh, the subtitles, subtitulos. It's not 100% guaranteed, but it works. Yes, uh, I really? can use, however, if uh, it's like a TL or supervised, supervised or TL is the same. Um, Don't está Susan? Oh. Catch me is kind of warning or something like that because we, we deal with payments sometimes. But that's but that's not something bad. That's something constructive <laughs> for for your yes. job. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But or you should ask. 
And maybe, maybe they, o sea, sí hay ciertas cosas que les pueden usar. Pero hay uno, no me acuerdo cómo es que se llama, pero bien chivo cuando Google detecta la voz y le sale el subtítulo lo que está diciendo. Y entiende acentos. A veces está mejor que uno. You don't know that, Albert? The, the Hindu accent, you mean? This is really oh, hard man. to understand. Yes. And it's funny, they are all Patel. They are all Patel. All right, okay, good. Um, Angela. I have a problem. No, it's not a problem, but maybe you can help me. My wife recently, she frequently vomits for no reason. She's not sick. And um, so suddenly she's eating and oh, 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 and she goes running to the bathroom and she vomits. I don't know. What should I do? It's an example, you know, I'm just, you know. I know, you are. Yeah, you, you know you, where I'm going. You know yeah. where I'm going. Okay. So what should I do, Angela? Yeah. Yes, I understand uh, this example. Um, can you repeat, teacher, um, the, the problem? <laughs> yes, um, my, yes, my wife recently maybe like for two weeks now, she vomits frequently. She vomits for no reason. And she she doesn't have the flu. She doesn't have fever. She only has nausea. I think um, the recommendation and the, the visit of the doctor, maybe. You should. Yes, you but what, what I want to hear is that, the, the, the models. Okay, you show the recommendation of the visit to the doctor. And... Okay, or say recommendation or say should. Because sure. you can say, should. I recommend should. you to visit the doctor or you should visit the doctor. You should visit the doctor. Okay, good. Why? But she's not. No fever, nothing. <laughs> Um, maybe the psychologist. A psychologist. <laughs> psychologist, yes. Because she vomits. Okay, okay. <laughs> ¿Quién me puede dar otra otra sugerencia? She may be pregnant. Yeah, she may be pregnant. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so you can say you should take you a should. pregnancy test. Okay. You no, but you know, you should go to the doctor too, but a psychologist, why? <laughs> um, why a psychologist if she's vomiting? Uh, vomit. Yeah, because uh, we had this problem, anorexia or blue? Anorexia, I don't remember, oh, yeah. daughter. Anemia, yeah. no, anemia is the same. It's true. <laughs> yeah. No, but the scenario that she painted was eso, like she was pregnant, you know, like, Gastritis. You know, she, gastritis, gastritis too. Gastritis. All right, okay, cool. Uh, let me see, let me see. Uh, Angelica Lasso, hi. Hello. Where, where do you live, Angelica? I live in Soyapango. In Soya Bronx. Let me see what's. Yeah. <laughs> Soyapango. Let, let, let me think of something. Mm. But where in Soyapango? Like, because Soyapango is. Hey, you know, you know, Sabia que Alta Vista? You know Alta Vista? Yeah. Part of Alta Vista. But Alta isn't, Vi isn't more in. I think the, I don't know how to say the limit there. The limit. With Ilopango and Soyapango. Yes, yes. No, but I, I always thought that Alta Vista was Ilopango. But no, part, o sea, Alta Vista, la colonia, 
part of that is Soyapango and part is yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought I thought it was so imagine like I live here, I am Soyapango, and my neighbor in the front is Ilopango. <laughs> yeah, kind that's, of that. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, but um listen, I I really like pizza. But I don't like commercial pizza. I like like rustic pizza. Where should I go? What do you recommend to me? In Soyapango, I don't no, know. Well, place. maybe not in Soyapango, but like any <laughs> place that you. Um, I know a, a restaurant is in Masferrer. Masferrer, how do you say Rotonda or Red Circle. Hotel? Circle. Circle at Masferrel Circle. It's the Pizza La Clásica. You should visit them because it's a very good pizza. You know and what? It's very artisanal. Yeah, you know, I, I heard I heard it's very, very good. But it's expensive, yeah. no? Yeah, it's very expensive. But, but it's the good. pizza, yeah, it's very good because the pizza is very crunchy. Uh and what, well, you, it's a different kinds of pizza or types. And the type you, you pick, it's where it is uh, crunchy or squishy. Okay. But you don't say you pick, you say you choose. Ah, I'm sorry. You choose. <laughs> yeah. No, don't say sorry. No, it's okay. So you say you, <laughs> you say you choose. Okay, good. All right. Nice. Yeah. I've heard about. I heard about that pizza. Lisa, yeah. are you there? When should we say pick? Pick is when you are in that situation, eh, like, okay, you only have two options, McDonald's or Burger King, pick one. Okay, okay. Okay, Lisa, are you there? Yes, teacher. Hi, look, Lisette, I have this terrible, terrible migraine. Oh yeah, I remember you have migraines. <laughs> um, what should I do? You should push ash in the headache. I'm sorry, I didn't understand. You should push ash. I in should the push. Push ice. Yes. Push. How do I push ice? Ponerse. Oh, put. Ponerse. You want me to put? Put, put ice. No, I understand that. You, you I, I understand what you were trying to tell me, but you have to be more specific. You, you should put ice on your head. On your head. No, and no, on your head. On your head. Okay, repeat, please. Okay. You should put ice in your head. In my head, I can't. I have to open my head and put ice inside. I can't. Okay. No, it's not correct. Please, no, you don't understand. Please repeat. You should put ice, ice? on your head. Exactly. There's a very big difference between on and in. On your head. Okay. Okay, good. Thank you. It's impossible to put ice in your head. <laughs> okay. Good. All right, very good. Can you repeat one more time, please? You see, that's the problem with cameras. Okay, next. Um, Jonathan. Hi, teacher. Are you still on the roof? No, in the kitchen. <laughs> oh no, Ronald's in the roof. That was Ronald. That was Ronald. Yes, yes. Yes, they, they turn off the the light. And still, Ronald, I think. Honestly, Ronald, I think you're stealing internet from your neighbors. Be honest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we live like nine people here, so it's sometimes <laughs> kind of complicated to. To stay alone. 
Yeah, yeah. Nine people in one house. Wow. I mean, we live like six, but my my aunt, she lives in front of me, so she spends the whole day here. So it's oh. like we live more than six. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, Jonathan, listen. Jonathan, where do you live? I live in Apopa. What is what is something famous about a popa? Niña Lilian. <laughs> oh yeah, Niña Lilian. And and um Conchao, no, ¿cómo se llama donde van los carros? Conchagua, eh, perdón. Changayo. Changayo, thank you. Changayo is in a popa, right? No, it is in Ilopanco. <laughs> Really? Yes. <laughs> it's not in. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought it was in a popa. No. Okay. Um, Jonathan, I want to buy a very, very expensive house in El Salvador. Where should I go? You should. You should go at Santa Elena. Two. You should go to. You should go to Santa Elena. Santa Elena is old school, Jonathan. Jonathan, are you are you there? Yes. Oh, okay. But you know, Santa Elena is not. I mean, yes, uh, the houses are expensive. But now, um, remember before it was La Escalón? And then it moved to Santa Elena. Now it's moving to Zaragoza. Everything is like Las Nubes, Donde Vive Bukele, Las Nubes, and Zaragoza. Okay, you see, this is the problem, Jonathan. This is the problem when people don't have cameras. You know, si estoy hablando solo, si me están oyendo, or something. So that's why we need cameras, people. And, um, ah, bueno, okay. Thank you, class. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, thank you for people who participate. Thank you very much. Hi. I will see you tomorrow. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.